Hello everybody, this is me Quant. Today we're we'll reviewing the Transformers uh, Legacy uh, Velocitron Galaxy Shuttle. Now who is Galaxy Shuttle? Well he's a character from Transformers Victory. He was both in the toy line and in the show. So yeah. Uh, here he is. He's a retool of the Astrotrain mold. Which uh, they just kind of went like close enough. And yeah this is what we got. Because on the actual Victory Shuttle toy... Uh, the bits for the shuttle mode would have actually been his chest. But they do a good enough job in mimicking some of the detailing in the paint. But yeah. Uh, but without further ado, we'll get into this here. So, you got this assorted bit of guns. You could put them all over the place. We're just honestly just going to leave these off to the side. Kind of cool you got a chain gun in these bunch. But, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> not really gonna talk too much the one right here is painted black though so that's the only thing to really note the rest is just cast in a red plastic anyways uh, this is a little more notable because it does some more stuff um, in robot mode this thing doesn't really do much other than you open this up so it just kind of boop pull it out from there boop and now you can wear these as boots <sighs> he's wearing his moon boots and it does make him a little taller but like they, it just look, it just looks fucking goofy if I'm being honest it looks really fucking goofy and we're just going to take him off because I, I don't need those goofy ass looking boots on him but uh yeah so we just put it back together. Um, it this can technically sit on his back. We have to do some transforming for that though, um, which we will do. It's it's really not that complicated. It's honestly quite easy. So okay, so. You just unfold that. This piece you want to fold before you move it. And then you fold it down. You just kind of bring all this shit back in. Like so. And if this part is out. This part can be out and be on his feet doing this. Because there's tabs on the inside on the blue part. That tab into the sides. So you're good. But it does hold together a little better. Like this but. You can't topple over more because there's more weight. Whereas if he has the boots, he's less prone to toppling over with this on his back. But yeah, that's just something I wanted to mention because you can do that. But again, it's not really necessary at all. And it's I find it quite pointless. But yeah, uh, we are going to go into train mode. Or actually go into articulation and then go to train mode. Since I haven't actually even talked about this mold before. Uh, I never got CG Astro Train. Because I was honestly happy with the um, Titan Returns one. Now, while this figure does pose better than that previous Astro Train. Uh, I think it looks too squat for Astro Train. But for Galaxy Shuttle, I think this looks perfect. Uh, here's a close-up of his head. I like that head sculpt. Pretty nice. You got a double jointed elbow. You got bicep swivel. Arms can go about that far. Uh, up until you get to the wings, which you can kind of fold back, but you can't go all the way, so you're limited a little bit there. No wrist swivel due to how the hands work. And then, um, ah, shit, more pain. Ah, uh, whatever. And then you can lift up this flap to get the leg up all the way that far it almost goes up all the way due to have the this design you can't go back that far you can do the splits so that's a thing you can do um, so yeah but yeah um, he does have angle tilts um, they get you about that far, so it's, uh. Well, 
like yeah so it's not too bad um but yeah oh, and then a waste swivel but yeah that's uh pretty much his transformation scheme it's oh yeah and his head's on a ball joint that is to be mentioned and this i believe it's in molded in black plastic and the only painted bits is the silver and the blue but yeah that's pretty much oh yeah and there's a thigh rotation and then the knees a little less than 90 but yeah that's pretty much it for the articulation we'll go into transformation now so fold in the hands right there trade mode so do that right there there's these flaps on the um, okay, you want to lift up the arms first. They'll kind of detach. That part's kind of important because there's a flap on the side which you disconnect. Disconnect. Actually, no. You keep those flaps there, but we are going to move the arms. Because I believe that stays closed for train mode. If I am remembering correctly. So you want to kind of turn the arm like 360. So that way you could tab this tab into that slot right there. You do that for both vehicle modes, um, but especially for this, just due to the nature of how this works. But uh, yeah, so you got that going on here, and then hold on, let me see if I could. There we go. So just rotate them like that, and then what you want to do is bring this whole piece back, uh, fold down these, fold down that. Wish this was molded black instead of painted black because you can see some chippage. And that's just for b really basic transforming uh, needs. So that's a little bit worrisome. But uh, yeah. Oh, but before. I should have gotten this down beforehand. So open up the wings. What you want to do, uh, the back, like these tabs, will tab into back here. So you just. All right, getting that second arm is a pain in the ass. Like the first one is okay. I got them both at the same time. That second time, you could turn the head around technically, but I, I'm just fucking too lazy right now. Um, so just fold that, and then there's a tab that will tab into the wing. Um, there are certain sounds you will hear that will kind of give you confirmation that you did it. But uh, yeah. Okay, this is a fucking bitch to do. Um, shit. I'm like trying to get this going, but it's not wanting to go. Fuck. Okay, wow, that's... I was not... Oh, that's why it's not... Okay. The arm wasn't pushed in all the way, so it wasn't... This whole thing wasn't flushed. There we go. Okay. After you hear those noises, you know you got it correctly. We'll move these in just a second, but what you want to do is... This is kind of tabbed in. You want to untab it, and then tab it like that. Perfect. Pull that. Push that like so. Do the same thing. I also wish they molded the feet in black plastic instead of painted it. That's a common thing that will be repeated in here. They should have molded a lot of this instead of painting it, but to avoid, you know, the thing getting scratched up to all hell. But, uh, yeah. The only part where I'm like, okay, yeah, no, there wasn't really any avoiding that was like the, uh, the front part of the train and then the thing for shuttle mode because it's either going to be black and then painted white which is a pain in the ass, or you could just make it molded and white and paint it black, which would be much easier. So I, I, I get that with the front end. But like the feet, you, you could have just molded that black. Um, it it would have not hurt either mode. or I forget if the, that part of the feet even affects the mode. But yeah, you pretty much pull these out of the foot and just kind of 360 rotate them as you kind of move that because that would be facing the other way so it would be like that and then this piece would be on the inside so it would be like that 
and then you just move that out and then you get it kind of in the middle there you kind of want to spin it oh yeah one thing I forgot to do beforehand there's a tab on his waist right there we'll just tab in there boop you hear that noise perfect that means you did it right okay make sure these tabs go underneath that part right there like that perfect and then now we just rotate these pieces uh, I'll just kind of flex the plastic a little and then lift it and then push it in but you can always do these beforehand now I will just say right now off the bat this front part won't touch flushly with the ground just due to how this thing was designed that's how it is kind of sucks and eh, kind of sucks that you get paint coming off but it is what it is nice little black train um, would have preferred some more silver and spots to break up the color but um that how it be um, oh yeah this mode can interact with it so you just plug it into the back here and you got like a coal car Cue. and you can place the guns wherever with this 5 millimeter port yada yada uh, now we're going to go into space shuttle mode which is simple but there's some things you need to do so if we're going to put these back like we had them in robot mode and then we want to bring out this piece push it back place that back just do that like we're going into robot mode but we want to untab these spots right here undo the legs and then we're going to just fold the leg the other way just do do the step like we were doing earlier for train mode but do it in reverse to get the cockpit of the plane out and then just make sure everything's all tabbed together lift this up boop boop and I think this is supposed to go like in between the arms but I don't know I just usually leave it just staying like how it is and you got shuttle mode um, now there is some nice detailing on here not bad kind of hate how th it goes from being thick to thin but it looks like an after train shuttle mode so yeah it's pretty good um, here is this in this mode um, pretty pretty all right if I do say so and I mean, today's oh huh don't worry about uploading it a little more cool but yeah um oh yeah the shuttle mode so you kind of fold this out turn that around I for the life of me I can't get this piece to like really stay flush I just kind of I don't know if I need to try to push this even further but yeah so just get as flush as you can and then you could just ploop it on and yeah you get shuttle cool you know cool you could have it go with your micromasters and all that cool shit because uh, it does have those ports I don't know if it works with Omega or Scorponok but yeah and you could kind of adjust them however you want to and yeah that's pretty much that I really don't have much to say um, other than I do recommend the mold if you can find Galaxy Shuttle or Astrotrain whichever one um, I recommend them it's a fun mold um, does what you expect uh, it's a little st stocky for an Astrotrain but that's what I think it makes it a good Galaxy Shuttle while Galaxy Shuttle was a little thin in the arms his chest area is kind of big I mean G1 toys had out of proportions but I think this does work for Galaxy Shuttle uh, would have been nice to get an actual Galaxy Shuttle toy that does everything properly yeah but I'm just happy we're getting victory representation around being all like in all honesty here it's just nice so I'll take what I can get <laughs> but yeah um, anyways this has been me Qua hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, uh, these well, the first set of these videos, which would be the first thing I talked about, which is Dead End, should be coming out on Saturday. 
followed by the Ironhide, and pro- no, followed by Smokescreen, which would be on Tuesday, and then Wednesday we'll be back to our normal schedule, just Transformers, Transformers, Transformers. Uh, just because my set of different videos that I did, uh, it's kind of ran up. I'll try to talk about some more Black Series to see if I can get a better gauge because that clone video did not do too well, but that G.I. Joe one did do good. So I'm going to be reviewing a Python Patrol uh, Cobra Viper. You know, I wanted to review my original Viper. I might as well just do it because that the, the Cobra Bat video did surprisingly well. Like, it was actually kind of astonishing how well that video did. And, uh, yeah. Um... But yeah, I do want to get back into doing some other content. Um, I'll actually be posting an update video, which may have some outdated content in that. But most of it's pretty up to date. I'll kind of talk about stuff I want to do with the channel. And pretty much to summarize that video in a nutshell, just me talking about what I plan to do to avoid burnout. (laughs) Uh, So that way not like a long period of time without content so yeah anyways i'm gonna end it here before this becomes like 30 minutes long of me just rambling and uh yeah anyways me qua hope you guys liked the video and you guys have a great 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 rest of your day i'm not gonna say like uh, what to call it is your seasonal greetings just because by the time this video comes out it'll be past said day um it might be close to New Year's <laughs> by the time this Galaxy Shuttle one comes out. Uh, if it's New Year's Eve, I'll, um, I don't even know. Hold on. I have to calculate it. <laughs> so the 25th Sunday, 26th is Tuesday. The 27th is Wednesday. No, the 26th is Monday, 27th is Tuesday, 28th is Wednesday, 29th is Thursday. No, Friday is the 30th. Right, yeah, Friday is the 30th. Saturday is the 31st. So then the 1st would be on Sunday. Okay, so that being the 1st. Um, yeah, with Sunday being the 1st. Um. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the that'll be a twenty seventh. Okay, twenty seven. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. I'm trying to do math. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Thirty. Thirty one. The first. Okay, so that's smoke screen. Uh, Prowl iron hide. Bumblebee. Um, blue streak. Mirage. Okay, yeah, so Mirage would be on New Year's. So this would be after New Year's Galaxy Shuttle by that calculations or I could just shuffle that around if I'm being honest but uh yeah I might actually just cut this last part out <laughs> but oh, I didn't even do robot mo- ah fuck <laughs> you know what this minute is already a mess and I was trying to end it sooner but shit happened so you're gonna watch me do this in robot mode but yeah so since this <laughs> I'll just leave it as is. It'll be the day after New Year's. So I'll be welcome 2023. <laughs> Unless I double batch this with uh, that, but I, I, I don't want to do that because usually I've noticed when I do that, when I like uh, post two videos in one day, that usually doesn't end up too well. Um, note the six gun video, which has already gone up at this point because it actually went up. The same day I'm recording this, it went up. I uh, didn't do too hot. 
and I'm expecting the next part of the uh, World at War playthrough to not do as well, well either. But it is what it is, and I want to give each video their first shot, which is why I only post one video a day. Uh, just because I kind of don't want to... It's it's a fast way of... At least when I was doing just Transformer reviews, it, 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 that, that's a really damn fast way to burn out if you're doing more than one video a day. Because then you run out of material a lot quicker. Um, and since I'm not at like my previous place where I had access to everything, my whole collection, here I only have access to whatever's not in storage. So yeah, and I only have limited space here too, so can't exactly go over everything. Or not. You know, you know what I mean. Because I don't have everything, but you guys know what I mean. But yeah. Anyways, here's next to a larger siege deluxe here he is next to a shorter war for cybertron deluxe and here he is you know what i'll just grab a kingdom figure just to well me he's definitely a legacy so yeah different flavors of the war for cybertron <laughs> uh but yeah uh that's just a little size comparison so you can see he's uh, all this extra shit makes him a void a leader. I'm just gonna say this. Astro Train did not need to be a leader. He didn't. Could have gotten away with it at the Voyager price point, is all I'm saying. But yeah, um, Blitzwing on the other hand, I think, I don't know. We'll talk about Blitzwing whenever I get Blitzwing. Don't have him, so I can't really comment on that. But seeing how the Titan Returns one did a really good job and was looks like it did, does a lot better of a job of managing its kibble than that new Legacy one, it'll probably be the same case. But I will say the new one does look better in robot mode, proportionally speaking. But yeah, anyways... Been me qua. Hope you guys liked the video. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm honestly not gonna cut <laughs> that out. It's just kind of funny. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I will cut some of it out just to save on time. Who knows? I don't want these videos so I have to cut something out. So yeah. Anyways, been me qua signing out here for reals this time. <laughs> Peace. Have a good one, guys.